and staying in the United States. President Joe Biden has tested positive for COVID-19 for the third time and is currently experiencing mild symptoms. Following this latest diagnosis, the commander in chief is isolating himself at his Delaware home. This health concern comes at a critical time with ongoing questions about his age and ability to serve as the nation's leader. However, the 81 year old president has promised to recover and get back on the campaign trail in the lead up to the Democratic National Convention, which is just a month away. Here's our report with more. U.S. President Joe Biden was slated to speak at the UNIDOS annual conference when, right before his appearance, an announcement was made. Regrettably, I was just on the phone with President Biden and he shared his deep disappointment at not being able to join us this afternoon. The president has been at many events, as we all know, and uh, he just tested positive for COVID. Not once or twice, but this is the third time that Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. Even though the 81-year-old has been diagnosed with mild symptoms, it comes at a time when he's losing support not only within his party, but equally among voters. I think that COVID is not the concern right now. The concern is having a leader that is going to take America in the right direction. And that leader is Trump. But despite this, the U.S. president remains optimistic. Flashing a thumbs up and assuring people that he felt fine, Biden headed to his Delaware beach home to isolate himself. And as he boarded the Air Force One, he was heard saying, good, I feel good. The campaign trip to Las Vegas was not the trip President Biden had imagined. The president first made a pit stop at a Mexican restaurant where he greeted several diners and posed for pictures with them. But shortly after that, Biden told his doctors that he had a runny nose and a cough, along with general malaise. Biden was then tested for COVID-19 and his results came back positive. Taking to X, Biden expressed gratitude for the well wishes, stating he would continue working during his isolation period. But with November around the corner, his diagnosis comes at a critical time for the re-election campaign. Biden, who has been garnering criticism for performing poorly in the first debate against Donald Trump, is leaving no stone unturned to prove himself, even though calls within the party are growing about his health. We were really excited to see him, um, but I don't think it really speaks to his commitment or anything like that. Um, sounds like he's just affected by things that we're all dealing with, so I don't think that in itself is a sign that he should step down. Before his COVID diagnosis announcement, President Biden suffered another blow when a prominent Democratic member of the U.S. House of Representatives, Adam Schiff, said it was time for Biden to pass the torch to someone else. Meanwhile, Donald Trump continues to garner support after surviving the assassination attempt. Heavyweight Republicans Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis have also offered full-throated endorsements of Trump's candidacy as a display of unity. I'll start by making one thing perfectly clear. Donald Trump has my strong endorsement, period. If we have four more years of Biden, or a single day of Harris, our country will be badly worse off. For the sake of our nation, we have to go with Donald Trump. Enemies do not confine their designs to between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. We need, we need a commander-in-chief who can lead 24 hours a day and seven days a week. America cannot afford four more years of a weekend at Bernie's presidency. Nearly two-thirds of Democrats want President Biden to step aside. 
even though the president hoped to reverse those perceptions over a three-day trip to Nevada, testing positive for COVID-19 quickly derailed those chances. So as he continues to recover in isolation, the question of his political future looms larger than ever. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.